Hey, what's going on guys? Today's video tutorial is going to be on photo retouching. So, let me drag in this image. And as you can see, it's really, really bad quality. It looks like it was taken with a, uh, a phone camera. So let's go ahead and jump in and retouch it. So the first thing you want to do is level out the colors. Uh, right now, it's it doesn't look bad, but wait till you see it afterwards. So to start off, I'm going to open up this histogram. You can come on over to Window Histogram. Actually, I want Info. So Window Info. And right here, here you can see the levels of the colors, and you can see as I move around, the numbers here change. So right now, I want to find the darkest and the lightest areas of this picture. So to do this, I'm going to click on Control L, which is going to bring up my Layers panel. And what I'm going to do is hold down Alt, and I'm going to slide this over. And what this is going to do is show me the lightest area. So once you start sliding this over and you see a light area pop up, that's your lightest area. So you can see it starts showing up around this, the tip of the bullet right here, right on that glare. So I'm going to keep holding down Alt, and I'm going to slide over this side, which is going to show me the darkest area. And you keep going until you see black. So the darkest area is right here, right in, on the right on the under the gun, right by the trigger guard. Okay. So just close out of this. Don't save anything. So first, you want to come on over to here, and notice these numbers: uh, 255, 255, 255 on all three is pure white, and zero is pure black. So come on over to here, and you can see it's 254, 254, 253. So click right there. And then over here, you can see it's, let's see if we can get a low number, 16, 22, and 9, I guess that works. Or, all right, let's give this one a try. All right, so right now we have the lightest area of the picture and the darkest area of the picture. So now we want to level that out. So keep this info window open and come on over to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Levels. You don't have to name it, but you can if you want. And now we are going to even out the colors. So I want to bring the white area to about 248, which is a good level for white. So to do this, I'm going to drag over here. Oops, wrong one. I want to subtract from this, so I'm going to drag down here and bring it to as close I can to 248. Now this one I want to bring to 15. So I'm going to drag on this, and I got 1 to 15. So uh, Let's start. Right now, I was moving all three just to get them close. So I'm going to go over down to uh, each individual. And red, I'm going to bring this this forward. Okay. So now I'll go to green. And the darks for this is fine. I want to change the lights. So I'm going to put that to 248. And come on over to blue. I'm going to bring this light up to 248 and this one up to 15 okay so that's one step to it now we have the picture uh, the colors better so you can see before it looks really green and after it's more leveled out maybe a little heavy on the red but we'll see so now our next step is going to be getting rid of the pixelated the pixelated you know the JPG artifacts or whatever it's called so I'm going to duplicate this layer and I'm going to come on over to filter blur Gaussian blur and let's bring this down to about 1 maybe 1.5 okay so I'm going to duplicate this layer again and I'm going to come over to the burn tool because this right here is a little bit too dark um, oops, the burn tool. Okay, so I'm going to just just go over that slightly, and over the bullets a bit to make this magazine more black. Now that might oops might be a little bit too heavy, so come on over to the dodge tool, and I'm just going to erase it from here. Okay, it's looking better. So let's go ahead and duplicate this again. And go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And this time we're going to bring this one up higher. Let's go with that. 
I'm going over to the eraser tool and let's make this really big with hardness down to zero. So I'm going to make this to about where I want the focus point to be. Uh, about right there. Oops. Make it a little bit bigger. And then lower the opacity a bit. You can see it kind of blurs out that artifact over there. Uh, let's go back to the dodge tool and fix that up a bit. I'm going to be the burn tool. And I'm going to leave it at that. So let's go ahead and take a look at our before and after. So this is after. Remember that. And this is before. <laughs> Huge difference. Huge difference. Oh, one last thing I forgot to mention. When I was taking the samples, this one and two of the light and the dark area, I had this on color sampler and three by three average. And those are the settings I find are the best. And the color sampler just makes it so you can see it inside this info. And that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. And if you have anything you want me to do a, tutor a tutorial on, just send me an email or put it in a comment, and I'll get to it as soon as possible. Thanks again for watching.